Greetings everyone. Welcome back to my court. Welcome if you're new. I am your Hello Queen and I have a post review slash dekidding. Stick around. Okay, so I have two projects in dekidding. Uh, one is a jewelry box, and I'm going to put a picture on the screen now for a little owl jewelry box that Caitlin did. And the other is Diamond Dots, this little winky face guy that Emily did. So I'm working on both of these, but I put them both away in the same box. They both go in here. These yellow cards are all the Diamond Dots colors. The pink ones are all just colors for these rhinestones. So I'm going to start with the rhinestones. So I just had these done by color. And the first color is silver. I see silver in there. And those here qualify for silver. So I've got quite a mess here. Silver rhinestone AB, those aren't AB. Black backed silver rhinestones. Round clear. That's those ones. I have like all of mine separated out into different things. So these ones are round clear. I'm going to get a tray. Use my Bell Art Nicole one, because I always had that handy. I had them listed as three millimeter clear round rhinestones. I was trying to make sure I had the shape, the size on there. I'm just going to peel these stickers off as I go just so that I can tell what I've been through. These little pink stickers are easier to get at. Okay, so let's set that one over there. Okay, so these are two different sizes of seed, seed shape, or shard shape. So these four millimeter teardrop, Silver ABs, round, round, star. So those aren't. Those look bigger than those. I just got to figure out what size these are. Yeah, those are bigger. And those are bigger yet. So they're not the six millimeter. Are these eight millimeter? Yeah. So what I do if I don't have them is I measure them and then put all of the stuff on there. So maybe eight millimeter silver or AB. These are eight millimeter silver sliver AB rhinestones. These kind of do have a shimmery ABs quality to them, so we'll go with that. Okay. Those are teardrops and stars. Teardrops. Let's get that one off there. sent Caitlin to bed and realized that she's still got her jewelry box with her, so I'll take a picture of it tomorrow. Okay, so these are 10 millimeter, so we're just going to go ahead and put them in here. I just happen to have the bags in because the kids like doing these rhinestone projects, so we get a lot of them. Okay, and then 10 millimeter teardrops. Excellent! So that's three down. Next is white. 
and most of the white are going to be these pearls. I don't see anything else that would class as white. So you aren't white either. Why are you in there? <laughs> I'll just leave those out. So I've got several sizes of pearls. What size are these pearls? They look a little bigger than the four millimeter. I'm just going to eyeball in these. Yeah, five millimeter looks about right. Next is orange. Do I have an orange? No, not really. That's more of a yellow. I'm just going to leave these out till we get to the blues and I'll put them away properly. Brown I don't have. These are black. And I've got blue. Purple? Oh, I do have a purple. That's an AB. That's also an AB. Which one of th these ones I have a couple of different shades. They're closer to that shade. Again, I don't get super granular with these. And this one is completely done, so we'll just set that over there. Green? Don't really have a green. Pink? Those would be pink. That's more of a red. Okay, let's take a look at these pink. We've got a couple of different ABs, three different ABs. Lots of crystals, but several different shades of standard size rhinestones. No, those are definitely red. All of those can go in there. But these, those look like those. Yeah, close enough. So that's all the pinks. And we'll take that off. Whoop. Those are a light yellow and those are a more of a golden yellow. Those are ABs. Yeah, if I don't have a, a DMC number for them, I just throw them in here. Those are golden yellow. Those are dark yellow. Those are light yellow. So let's put... those ones back. Those are a light yellow, so they'll go in this one. I am kind of thinking I want to redo my ABs so that I have them more to hand, but we shall see. My time to craft has been significantly curtailed now that I'm a working woman again. I had my orientation today for my new job. I will be supporting one of the streaming services. We shall see how this goes. See if my agoraphobia will let me do this. Okay. Those actually look like they go in there.
then I've got another blue here. And that's it for that row. Gold we don't need. Black I do need. Was it actually clear? Babies. I guess they'll just go in there. They're effectively like a 310 that's silver backed. Like a rhinestone. We'll just stick them in there. Yes, those are definitely red. And now I look at them and they're pink. Oh, for Christ's sake. Where's the hot pink ones? Three millimeter hot pink rhinestones. <laughs> I clearly didn't do this project, so I didn't get a real good look at the the diamonds themselves. The kids do the diamond painting, I do the kidding up and kidding down. Okay, those are going to go away. And then blue is very last. So after all of the ABs, we'll put the periwinkle ones in. And these are teal. Just closed my hand in the container. <laughs> okay, so that's all the rhinestones. We will remove the the stickers. And all of those are done. Excellent. Okay, so now we do the Diamond Dots. Now Diamond Dots is a commercial brand. They're pretty good. I've done a few of them. The kids love these little sample kits, which are actually a little bit smaller than this. This is the step up. But it's a small project they can do in an afternoon or even break it up into two. And it works. Okay. Now this has been right rubbed off a little bit. AO2, that's F8329. Okay. So let's see what I've got for numbers here. These are all four digit numbers. These are all 800s. Most of them are. 8001 is O. 8001 is effectively 310. This is the middle of the pack. These are the ones I, I put uh, dry erase labels on, and Emily wasn't as nice with making sure they didn't smudge on there as I would have been. No big deal. So these stickers actually don't come off. They'll just get wiped off. It's so the one thing about using the dry erase is you have to be kind of careful with the containers so you're not smudging them off again. Yeah, I'm not going to try wiping them off. I'll just take a cloth to the whole thing later. Okay. 8020 and 8022. I imagine I'm probably going to have to make up some bags and labels for this. 8020 is this one. 
nice bright red that's probably like a 666 if you're going by DMC. It's a very bright red. And 8022, I'm going to have to make up a, a card. This is how I used to do the DMC. Because if I hadn't had it before, I would just make up the card as I went. Let's leave those out, because that's probably not going to be the only one. I need stickers. And a pen. Oh no, it's eighty twenty two I need. Okay. And this is why I like printed stickers, because my handwriting blows. I don't have any inserts. I haven't had to make up any in a while, and I don't feel like making them now. Well, we'll just go with it. They're not super necessary, they just help the bag stand up nicer. 80-22... Those in there. Okay. So eighty, twenty, eighty, twenty-two. I'm on the eight ones, so I have eight one two five and eight one four zero. One, two, five. Oh, I have a bag for it. Eight, one, two, five. It's this one. This light blue. I suppose I probably could have tried to tip that in. It was on the corner. Oh, there's now going to be a red one in there. Oh well. I will fish it out later. Uh, okay, and 8140, 8134, 8138-8141, so... 8140-8140. Diamond dots and special drills. Another bag. Oh, and that's the end of that one. Set that one over there with the rest of that set. Yeah, they're good quality canvases, they're good quality drills, they just play by their own rules. One nice thing is they have a lot of licenses, so that's where you can get a lot of your uh, Harry Potter stuff, Marvel, DC. Uh, they have a lot of licensed stuff. 8141. Do I have any 82s? No, so the rest is all 83s. 8330, 8329. Oh, it's like a whole row of them in the middle. 8326 is where it starts. So let's move over here. 8325. Looks like I'm making a lot of these. Eight. 
eight three two six. Let's get the bag of bags. The bag of bags. I have 8325 and the next one is 8331, so I'm going to be making all of these. Eight three two six is that one. Very pale yellow. Oh, 8307. I missed that. We'll have to go back and get that. Eight three two seven. So we did the orientation today. Nothing out of the ordinary. Well, actually one thing out of the ordinary. Apparently there are now, fi there's a fitness consultant and they do fitness breaks under the idea that people who are in better shape make better workers, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to take advantage of it. I'm off the phones for my own well-being. Yes, please. Seems like a decent enough company. We'll see how she goes. But what it is, is a paycheck, which we desperately need. And it'll be benefits, which while it's not as desperately important up here as it is in the States, it's still something that's rather important because OHIP doesn't cover your teeth, it doesn't cover your ears, it doesn't cover your eyes, And we are a family of myopics. All of us, all of us are the kind of glasses wearers, we need them for distance. So three of the four of us, Caitlin hasn't quite got there, but I think she's about to basically fumble around unseeingly every morning for glasses and then plunk them on our faces so we can see well enough to do everyday things and then take them off last thing at night before we go to bed. Like the worst prescription in the family, and I can say this for a certainty, is my husband. But I would not be at all surprised if I need bifocals because I have noticed sometimes with the diamond painting that sometimes I have to take the glasses off to see what I'm doing <coughs> and get really, really close. It's life. It's the way it is. Again, 8307 and 8412. Come on. So, my kids, OHIP covers 
OHIP is the Ontario Health Insurance Plan. It's how our Medicare is run. 8330. 8330. So anyone who's been living here long enough to qualify for it has an OHIP card. And OHIP is who gets billed whenever we have a doctor's appointment or go to the hospital or whatever have you. OHIP doesn't cover dentist dental appointments. I think it will cover emergency dental. So if you go to the hospital because you took a hockey puck to the face and they have to pull some teeth because they're hideously broken, it'll cover that. I'm not sure. But just go in to get cleanings and stuff like that. It doesn't cover that. Um, it covers the kids. If you're under either 21 or possibly 25, I don't recall which. If you're a kid, basically. 8412. Nope, don't have that there either. So my kids are still in elementary and high school. And there is, so their drugs are covered. Their drugs are covered. Their eye exams are covered. But when I had to take Caitlin to get her, her hearing checked when we were covering all our bases before she got her diagnosis for ADHD, I had to pay for that. I had to pay for her hearing test. Okay, then 8307. Nope, it starts at 8325. So, 8307. Come on. And I have to dig out some more stickers. So, my father-in-law, who's in his 70s, his eye exams are covered. My mother is 64, her eye exams are not covered. When she hits her birthday this year, I think they are, because she will be turning 65. Um, my husband's and mine are not covered, but my children's are because they're under 21 or 25 or whatever the cutoff is. I'm not sure where the cutoff is. And unfortunately, a lot of mental health stuff is not covered. It may be subsidized to a point, but it's not free. It's not like going to a regular doctor, which I can go to at any point and never have a fee. If I go to see a psychiatrist, I'm gonna have to pay for it out of my own pocket. It's possible that OHIP subsidizes it. I'm not sure if that's the way it works, but I, if I have to pull out, it's definitely not fully covered but this means I might actually be able to see a psychiatrist and not go broke now that I have a job. I've been feeling like I've been this, this roundabout. It's like, well, you know, if you had, if you had money or had a job, 
then you could go see a psychiatrist. It's like, well, in order for me to have money or have a job, I need to see a psychiatrist. <laughs> it's it's not a fun roundabout. It, it it's it's just not. Anyway. But that is all of those put away. So those will get returned to their container. These will get wiped off and put into their container. Just take a white cloth and wipe them off. They're just wet erase markers. And that's it. This can go back away. So thank you so much for joining me and listening to me ramble. Like this if you enjoy it. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Keep spooky, guys. Bye.